Hey guys, it's Lightning Slash here, and today I'm going to show you how to get worms out of your chestnuts while well, we're going to need to kill the larva before they develop. I waited way too long. What you want to do is immediately after the chestnuts drop, you want to pick them up and give them a hot water bath. So we're going to add some water to this, then we're going to put some chestnuts in. Then we are going to set the temperature to 120. Then we are going to leave it for 20 minutes. We're not going to fill it the whole way up because the chestnuts are going to take up room, so stop. That's good. All right, so now we're going to set our temperature at 120. We were not going to put the chestnuts in yet because we got to make sure the temperature's right, and obviously you don't want to... You don't want to heat the chestnuts too long or have too hot of a temperature. Also have an actual um, water tester thing so we can see if the temperature is right. And doing this method at this temperature, it does not kill the nuts. So you are, you are able to plant the nuts. Now, like I said, you immediately want to do this. Give them this hot water bath right after you pick them up because it'll kill the larva. These have been a couple, um, these have been like a week. So yeah, there's some worms that have come out of them, but I've opened up a bunch and didn't have anything in them. So we're just going to um, get this done and hopefully prevent any more. Then we're going to try to make some chestnut candy. Ours is a little bit different than the Morans, I think they're called, because this is a fast way of making them. It's different, but they're still good. All right, we got our water the way it needs to be. Now it's time to put some chestnuts in. It's obviously going to take more than one um, try because there's a lot of chestnuts. So he's gonna pour some in. Stop. I think that's good for now, for the first batch. Okay, this was kind of unexpected. I didn't think this through. Uh, the chestnuts cooled the water down a lot, so now we have to heat the water up more. So, yeah. I guess we'll be back when these are done. Right now, we just have it set at 120 again to go back up. This thing apparently is not accurate, or this is not accurate, because when we had it set at 120, this was saying it was like 150 or somewhere in between. So, I don't know. Or just have to keep an eye on it, because you don't want it too hot, or you won't be able to plant the nuts. I mean, you can still eat them, which we probably won't plant many of these anyway, but I still want some to plant, so... Okay guys, so we've got this batch right here done. Now it's time to put another batch in. Like I said, if you didn't hear me, which I've said it like three times, you want the temperature at 120 degrees for exactly 20 minutes or as close to 120 degrees as you can get. This does not kill the nuts. You can still plant these nuts if you get this right, but you can't, can't plant the nuts if worms develop in them. So this is how to get rid of the worms. All right, put some more in. So second batch ready to go. This is going to drop the water temperature by probably 20 degrees. We'll have to check it and hopefully it doesn't overflow because there's a lot of nuts. Probably put some worms down in there. Yeah, there's a few worms on top. As you can see those nasty little, little buggers right there. There's a few nuts in here that probably have holes in them. Yeah, roast, sucker, roast. All right, guys, be back when this is done. All right, guys, that's it for this video. As you can see, we got our chestnuts here. This has been how to get worms out of your chestnuts. This will work with American chestnuts, Chinese chestnuts, Japanese chestnuts, whatever kind of chestnuts you have. This will probably work with acorns too. Yeah, this will probably work with acorns. Definitely a very good method to not kill the nuts so you will be able to sprout them still and you get rid of the worms. So immediately when you collect chestnuts, immediately get them in a hot water bath, 120 degrees for 20 minutes. And you will have nuts that don't have worms in them. It kills the larva. You can't tell the larva's in there when they immediately come off the tree because the larva's like barely non-existent. So make sure you do that and you won't have a problem. Thank you guys for watching this video. Go check out the GoFundMe link down below. $2 equals one American chestnut tree planted. That is a project we are starting. We are going to be breeding those with the um, offspring of the mature American chestnut trees we found. And we're going to try to create a blight blight resistant tree. So $2 equals one American chestnut planted. The link for the GoFundMe will be in the description below and the comment section. It'll be the pinned comment. Okay, guys, don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe for more content, and as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later. God bless.